And welcome back, everyone, to the NFL Today. And today's hot topic exclusively for CBS Sportsline, the biggest surprises and disappointments at this, the halfway point of the season, as I turn to my experts here. Let's start first with turn the surprises. Go to Boomer first. All right, right. Boomer. Let's start with go. the disappointment, all right? <laughs> Who is more disappointing than the Pittsburgh Steelers mm. and Ben Roethlisberger? I mean, the former Super Bowl champions come out this year, and they completely look disorganized on offense. He's turning the football over. Everybody's running for cover in, in Pittsburgh. So to me, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger are the biggest disappointments mm -hmm. thus far. The first and only time I'm going to agree with Mr. Slasser <laughs> because I agree because they are the Super Bowl champs and they had a hot, lot of high expectations, even though Jerome Bettis and everybody thought that with Jerome Bettis, he really didn't rush for a whole lot of touchdowns, didn't have a whole lot of carries. But I think he's been uh, uh, greatly missed in this organization for the simple fact he could control the clock. And now they're allowing Ben Roethlisberger to throw the football 40 times the ball game. And that offensive line is not built to pass protect. They're built to run the football, control the clock, and let Ben Roethlisberger throw the ball between 20 I and 25 I do agree. Times. The Pittsburgh Steelers have to be the most disappointing team this year. And you're right about Roethlisberger throwing the football and they're, they're getting out of their game plan. But also, you look at the Miami Dolphins. I'm 2-6 and six right now. They had a lot of hype. You know, when the season was about to begin, they trade for Dante Culpepper. They're a team that you know, they, a lot of people felt could be in the playoffs or challenge for the AFC East. And right now, you know, they're struggling, but they got a little confidence coming out of Chicago. But they're a big disappointment, too. So Dan is feeling sensitive today. He says to start with Boomer. So let's go back to Boomer okay. on, the dis on the surprises then. It has to be the New Orleans Saints. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 That's what you get for going first. There you go. You jump out in front of everybody and you say it like it is. Listen, Marcus Colston, of all people, a wide receiver, a rookie out of Hofstra. What a great season he's had. I know Reggie Bush has had mm. impact down there. Deuce McAllister, Joe Horn look a lot happier. But how about Sean Payton is the head coach of the New Orleans Saints, and they pick up Drew Brees, who comes off of major surgery with a shoulder injury last year in the last game of the season. By far the biggest surprise and most pleasant surprise of the NFL season. You agree with him again? For the second time, I got to, I got to agree with it. Because here's a team last year that played all their home games in some place other than New Orleans. They even had a home game in New York. And how you get New Orleans and New York as a home game, I don't understand that either. But for them to come back, they're not a novelty act anymore. It's not a feel-good story. They are a very good football team. Sean Payton has got these guys playing well. Drew Brees is doing an unbelievable job. I, I knew he was good, but I did not realize he was that good. And they're playing defense. They are for real, ladies and gentlemen, and they are my surprise team at the midway point. Isn't that what Boomer just said? That's what <laughs> you just said. Same thing? <laughs> well, come on, how about, okay, how about a player, Damon Heward, coming okay. in for Trent Green? That's a big surprise. The guy hasn't played in six years, and uh, he, you know, he backed up Tom Brady, won some Super Bowls there. I think it's a big surprise for him. He's playing good, and I'd like to see him playing well. Uh, anybody else back, back you yeah, up? He backed me up. I will leave that yeah, alone. Leave that alone. That's where we learned way, you know, Everything weaves its way through Baltimore and Denver with him, and everything kind of kind of segues down to Miami with Every him. Is there a quarterback in the league that didn't back you up? <laughs> 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 and with that in mind, let me back up and say, you know what? Be sure to watch us at noon Eastern every Sunday right here on the NFL Today.